It's not a cash flow issue. It's a symptom. I was open a restaurant. Yeah. Uh, what would happen? I, I share with you. I would have a think about your your career. It's that decision you made or the decision you didn't make. So the nature of business, people, technology, the world we live in means that there will always be a degree of unpredictability. New technology changes, yes, right? New new things and disruption, new market and new competition. It means that. As long as, uh, for as long as we're in business, there's always a little bit of uh, unpredictability. It, what's going to happen, right? We need to learn how to thrive in this kind of environment. So we remember I said like we need to be we, need, we sell certainty in a certain world, but we also need to be how can we in this unpre- unpredictable world have a little bit of certainty or have some degree of certainty? How do we do that? We do that through systems. Think about your problems, your business, your challenges. Most of them are not one-off. They're not a one-time event. In most cases, you often find yourself with the same problem, same challenge, again and again and again and again. Tell me, what are some of the problems you have? Like that has occurred a few times. Put in the chat. So the business challenges, some of the problems, is not just one time, but it's like kind of recurring, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. Face- so Facebook. Ian said the Facebook. Yeah. Marketing. Yes. Genius marketing. Okay. Google algorithm. Content updates. Yes. What else? Let's see. Ads getting shut down. Uh, Google AdWords. Finding good people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Cash flow. Key advisors. Yes. Cash flow. So you can see these patterns. Now, by the way, most of these things, they are usually, if you say cash flow, they are. It's not a cash flow issue. It's a symptom. What causes the lack of cash flow? You got to go a little bit deeper, right? Mm-hmm. What causes the lack of cash flow? So uh, you got uh, you got my money. Huh? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll pay you soon. Does that mean that I don't have a system for marketing? Does that mean I don't have a system for lead generation? Mm-hmm. Does that mean I have I don't have a system for closing because I'm not bringing revenue? Does that mean I have a pricing issue? You got to narrow that down, and then you fix that. There's not a cash flow problem. Yeah, well, um, here's a suggestion: um, have the money by tomorrow, and there won't be any problems. It's like someone's like, I don't feel so well. What does that mean? Yeah. Like, well, stomach I just don't ache, feel well. Headache. Is it stomach ache? Is yeah. it you got a headache? It's got okay. What kind? Is it like the this kind or like mm. Mm, this kind? Like, yeah. What 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 else do you feel? Are you coughing? You're not coughing. Then you have the right medication for that particular disease for that particular one. You're unwell. What? It's not like just take something. No. So COVID nineteen, it's an incident. Is it just a, simply an incident within our business? That's something that we cannot control. But what we want to focus on is what we could control. The companies are kicking ass. Then we, I think a couple of days ago, I was I was, um, I was sharing with you about if I was open a restaurant. Yeah. Uh, what would happen? I, I share with you. I would have a, mm-hmm. a restaurant, and then it's strictly focused on delivery, tapping into like Uber, Dash Door, like all those network. Yeah. No, no dining in. No okay, waiter. Yeah. No waitress. You're late. I'm not paying for those. If I was to be in the restaurant business today, that's what I would do. I was watching the news uh, on the weekend. Yep. There's actually a term for it now. It's yep. called ghost kitchens. Ghost kitchens. Yep. Ghost yeah, kitchens. Yep. Okay. And the the guy was talking about the ghost kitchens because of this, they pivot. Yes. Now they have other business owners coming in, create prepackaged meal, all that. Yep. This has gone up 20%. Mm-hmm. The guy was watching the news. Yeah. You can see on YouTube, gone up 20%. Yep. And he's open. He's planning to open up way more locations yep. in the next 12 months yep. because he could see the ghost kitchen is going to be the next. Same with the, the sushi restaurant I was talking yep. about, right? The sushi owner. Um, they eat less costs and more in sales. Mm-hmm. And now they're watching other restaurant owners who did not make this pivot, yeah. want to close their place, take yeah. it for pennies on the dollar, and then take their kitchen and expand the operations. There's always money out there. People go there with the wrong freaking bucket. That's the problem. The money's there. They go with the wrong. No, actually, they go with a two. They go with a like two hand trying to grab. No, bring a fucking bucket. I will bring. Yeah. I will bring a fucking truck. You know. Well, people are too attached to their business. Yeah, like they, they 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 don't pivot. They don't they don't stop. It goes back to they don't spend time to think and strategize, and that's why they have a flawed business model in the first place. The COVID nineteen is just a an accelerator. It's just a trigger of why. It's 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 just like the restaurant. That's just mm-hmm. like the retail, all those retail shops. Yeah, they're all dying anyway. They're all in debt. But COVID, it's just like a quick death versus a slow death. Makes no difference. Because the model the model is out of date. 
it's they, out of day. Yeah. No, where they stand. No business goes out of business overnight. No business fails overnight. They fail six months, a year, two years ago. It just wait till now. You put the nail on the coffin. It just takes that many months for that to, for them to realize that mm-hmm. no business succeeds overnight. No business fails overnight. It's a, always if you go back, trace back the entrepreneur. It's a series of decisions that they made, or a series of indecisions. They something they didn't do that caused the death of the business. They could have pivoted. They could have done something. They could have done, blockbuster. They mm-hmm. could have bought Netflix. They didn't. They didn't take advantage of that out of business. It's one decision. So think about your your career. It's that decision you made or that decision you didn't make, because that indecision it is a decision. By choosing not to do something, by choosing not to pivot, by choosing not to take advantage of the recurring model, by choosing not to be in social media, by choosing saying, "Hey, I'm not going to have a remote team," by choosing not uploading a video, you chose not to get attention in the marketplace. You chose not to have that automated recurring model. You chose not to scale with a remote team. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What、It's- do you want? Indecision is a decision. So at the end of the day, the buck stops with us. And that's the beauty of business. Your business is always a reflection of you, one thousand percent. Your business is always a reflection of you. It is a very, very. It's the ultimate personal development journey. We can, you and I could, could go on. You're gonna face your own demons. You're gonna face your own insecurities. You're gonna face your own egos constantly. And you're gonna face all your own mistakes, and you're gonna own up to it. Maybe it's my fault that you didn't see that failure gave me strength. Maybe you're just making excuses. It's not for everybody. Can you see why? It's not for the weak. It's the one who doesn't have the stomach for it. It's not for everybody because it's very, very brutal. Everything that you do, everything you don't do, we reflect in the business, and they all have massive consequences. Because your business goes down, does it just affect the business? Does it just affect your employees? Does, doesn't that affect you? Doesn't that affect your family? Doesn't that affect your kids? Affects everybody around you. It's that serious. It's a serious game. This is a very, very serious game, and it's a game that you play twenty-four-seven. So, one of the most powerful questions that you could ask is, how can you solve a problem not once but forever? Instead of putting a fire again and again and again and again and again, how could you solve the problem once, not just once, just like Andre?、Mm-hmm. I can do it for five minutes. Yeah, but then you gotta do it next time for five minutes. You gotta do it next time for ten minutes. You gotta do it. How can I solve this problem once and for all? So I don't have to deal with this thing anymore. It's a different, different, different way of thinking. Yeah. So in summary, by not doing exactly what you're teaching, as a decision that we can only blame ourselves. Yeah. Because that indecision is a decision. Is we choose. It's like people who who are like losing weight. Well,、yeah. I choose not to go to the gym.、Mm-hmm. I choose. Eat, I choose like not to eat healthy food. By choosing to put it off because you're too busy right now.、Mm-hmm. You choose not not to not to do the cardio, right?、Mm-hmm. But then before you know it, in in now, you don't. Again, it's that two, three, five, ten years when we get older. Suddenly you have,、yeah. you know, the the heart disease. Suddenly you, you're overweight. You're obese, and because you choose not to do something,、mm-hmm. right? And most of the time it is like that in our life. And what I've learned is, it's usually the decisions we choose not to make. Those right this time have the biggest consequences. The, our regret in life usually comes from things that we don't do, not from the things that we do. Think think about in your own life. Isn't it true? It's the things that we didn't do, not the things that we do. One of the biggest regret I have in life is not spending enough time with my father. I didn't do it. One of my biggest regrets. I chose not to do it. I chose not to spend more time. I thought that I would. That's, you know, I focus on building the business that will make him proud, versus I chose if I should have spent more time with him. And now it's too late because he, you know, he's gone. There's nothing I can do anymore. But that's my biggest. It, it it comes from most of us the biggest regrets, action that we didn't take. Because usually when we take some kind of action. It produces some kind of results, good or bad, but at least it gets gets a little bit further, right? And we can say, okay, we take a little bit of action. Oh, we hit a wall. At least I take another direction. I hit a wall, but at least you're moving forward. But when we stay in, in, the, in the same spot, we don't move. We don't make that decision. Nothing happens. 
and nothing happens, disruption happens, competition happens, COVID-19 happens, and then we're done.